It's about 12.30, we head out for a ride. Around two hours later, we decide to go back. I'm flying through the trail. I go around the corner way too fast, I'm carrying too much speed, I lose control. Bam! I hit a tree. I was devastated. I was so angry with myself. Why would I make such a stupid mistake? I'm only a minute from home. I think it'll make quite a few appearances on this channel over the next coming months. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for this winter. Can't wait to get out on the sleds. So, yeah, I kind of broke my sled. So I had a couple options after I broke my sled. I could just give up on the winter and sell my machine for parts and then walk away. Or I could buy my dad's machine because his blew up that day. I could put buy his and then put my motor in that machine and I would have a perfectly working sled. bought the XLT Snow King Special. It's a 133 inch track, so the track is better and bigger and it's a lot smoother on the trail, so that's for sure. It was actually, when it first came out, it was the best trail machine you could buy on the market. It's definitely a good sled for trail riding. I'll see what I do. I might just keep it for the next winter and put on some more parts and then I'll just use that machine for the next couple years or something. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do yet. I also think I want a dirt bike for the summer, but I'm not sure. I'm just not sure what I'm gonna be doing the most this summer. Am I gonna be on the river the most, or am I gonna be dirt biking and four wheeling and stuff like that? So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the seat off the XCR and I'm putting it on the XLT. However, the XLT seat is connected to the gas tank. So I have to take, and I, by the way, I just filled this tank, so it's full. So I'm siphoning the gas out of the tank so that I can put my other tank on it and I'm not gonna lose all this gas and stuff. And because I was trying to take the seat off and replace the seat, I also have to take the tank off. This is a much better way. So I have this hose running, siphoning the gas into the, into the gas tank, rather than me holding it up. And I have the seat angled so that it comes out better. That's smarter. So I have a little bit of an issue. The gas tank isn't quite the same size. So I had to take off the oil reservoir because that stuck out a little bit further than the one on my XCR did. So now I'm trying to fit the XCR one onto the XLT, but it doesn't want to go in. I'm having trouble getting it in and I'm not sure why. Anyways, hopefully I can figure it out tomorrow. I'll make a whole video about the new sled, hopefully by the end of the season. I wanna get all this gas tank and brake stuff done by the end of the week. And then I can go for a ride and I'll show you guys my thoughts on the new sled. It's a little bit different when how it rides, but it's better in some ways and worse in others. So stay tuned for the review. Review. So that's all for me for today. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to leave a comment down below. What toy should I get for the summer? Anyways, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, this time I actually got it.